We are going to show you how to go on a digital detox. So many people are vowing to do that this new year. And our tech expert, Becky Worley, is here to help. So, Becky, why don't you take it away? <laughs> Becky, <laughs> Becky, we just threw to you. Stop being distracted. I was distracted. It's Sorry, guys. Funny. I was Sorry. distracted. But we all need less of that, right? We're all distracted by our gadgets, aren't we? So, wouldn't it be great if in 2018 we could get some help detoxing, getting some balance with our devices. Modern life is dominated by the smartphone, often for good, but the slow creep of technology into our lives has reached a breaking point for many. Ah! Aaron Schiller is a digital life coach. He says we have to get disciplined. With any change you make, you have to like set a goal or have some mindset that you're gonna do something less or more, right? So if you're like gonna not eat sugar, like, you kind of have to wake up in the day, okay, I'm gonna eat less sugar today, so how do you do that? Same would be with technology. First step, take back control. For example, taming notifications. You do not need to look at your phone every time a retailer blasts a sale notification. Go to settings, click notifications, and get serious about turning them off. Deny, turn off sounds. Oh, delete that completely. Ugh. Now let's talk about email intrusions. The big one is from work. Do you really need to be on call all the time? There is no life-work balance anymore. Now it's about life-work integration. So you tell your boss, your coworkers, your employees, hey, from six to nine, I'm gonna be with my family. So don't email me, don't call me, don't text, and I'm not gonna do the same. Next, social media. Get ruthless. Toxic people or friends who post too many political rants? Easy, unfriend or at least unfollow. Facebook gives you lots of options and the other person never knows they're out of your newsfeed. Also go through the pages you've liked and make sure you really want their stuff plastered in front of you. Next. Selfie. Posting that on Insta. Comments on Instagram got you down? Go to settings and filter, block, or turn off comments entirely. Finally, this one is hard. Put your phone down. If you want to cut down on your tech uses, create some tech-free zones. Create rooms in your house that are tech-free. Events and times where you don't check in. There are even apps to help you with this arduous task. One called Onward and another called Moment. They track your usage and let you know how many times you fire up Facebook and gently nudge you when you've spent the last hour on Insta. An app called Digital Detach goes even further, creating time blackouts, locking you out of all apps except for texting and calling. Another alternative is to go for a walk without your phone. It's a start to that healthy separation. One step at a time to finding a digital balance. Do you guys remember all the hype about this Japanese book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying it's Up? It's still on my dresser table. You like, love I, it, I right? love it. So the exercise in there is when you're thinking about getting rid of stuff, you hold up, say, a mm -hmm. sweater or a tchotchke, and you ask yourself, does this bring me joy? You've done this? Yes, oh. I have. It's it's such a great way to get rid of a lot of things. Do you, right. really, do you say it? Do you hold I it think up it. I, I might not say it out solution. loud, but I'm thinking it, right. and it works. I say do the same with your apps. Yes. So spend a little bit of time on Facebook, and then ask yourself, does scrolling through Facebook in bed bring me joy? And if it doesn't, no. stop. Be right. mindful. Instagram. Playing Candy Crush gives me joy. See, that's the question. It does. Ask yourself. I do love I'm here. hearing from old friends, but it, uh, it doesn't give me joy when I can't stop. See, I like, like the, the discount the shopping. That brings me joy. Well, there's a question. <laughs> <laughs> so that app the same. When yeah. is it joy? When does it feel like you're right. compelled? Okay. Right. And so ask yourself those questions. Really Be fun. mindful and use some of those tips in the piece to just put the phone down. Now yes. we can do it. Namaste, 2018 is the year. Guys. I love it. We can do it, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Becky.